Who's ready for an unboxing? I know I am and I hope you are too. I'm gonna meet with my friend Carrie, so let's get this thing packed and be on our way. I'm so excited to go see Carrie, I forgot to put on my shoes. All right, now we're good to go. Look at that, I step away from the room and she's already cutting through it. That's the whole purpose. Well, I figured just cut it. I just cut, cut it, but... This is Carrie, the Desert Mermaid. She's a reseller and YouTuber. No, you... <gasps> the process is... Weak. Weak. Weak, weak, weak. That's not how I do mine. Well... I cut them first because this is annoying to hear. <laughs> no, the tape is annoying to hear. Yeah, it is. Look at this. All right, folks. I came over to visit the Desert Mermaid because I was mailed something, a lot of somethings. Whoa! And some of this is um, thanks to Lisa. Lisa, thank you. Yes, she yes. has sent me messages. Thank you, Lisa. So we, we, we finally got to it. A lot of traveling back and forth, a lot of work. So um, I'm happy we get to open this together with an amazing friend. So this was sent to me and then Lisa said, Sonny, there's some stuff for you and some stuff for Carrie. Okay. So some for both of us. So we're going to go through it. Okay. And I can't. This is very well organized. Lisa. Uh, you. Girl. Being organized says a lot about a person. Yeah, well. Hmm. I'm, I'm not about me, but not, about people well, like Lisa. You don't want to turn around either. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm going to clean this mess up because I don't want Jeffrey Parker, Mr. JP, the man of the house, to get upset with what I'm bringing over. I might not be invited again. No, he won't care. I, lo I love JP. All right. Let's get into this. Carrie, let's see what we got. All right. Let's do it. Please handle with care. Glass. Thank you. Where do you want to start? You want to start on that side? Oh, wait, wait. Yes, open that. Hold on. Oh, I see it's a note. Attached. I see some hats. It's attached. I see some hats. The Hunt for Vintage. This oh. is your merch. <gasps> right? Is it? Well, that one I think it is. I, I think love that's... it. And then look at that. I've always wanted to play cricket. It looks fun. I have a lovely friend who enjoys cricket. Yeah? Yeah. Sweet. My doctor friend. Oh. Okay, I think you might need to open that card. I uh, love that head. I love how she did that. Thank <gasps> you, Sunny, for an inspiration. Uh, can you open it? Can you? I will it? do I'll it. Of this. course, I will. People don't want to see me. They want to see you. Karen. Oh, please. Do you really? <laughs> You're the cute boy. I'm the old Grammy. <laughs> no, people just like me for my hair. Yeah, I know. That's true. Oh. I wish those other things they liked about me, but. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning how to it's get there. It's not your your amazing personality. Oh, that. That's a cool. Pup. Barking dog, interrupting symbol of a cigarette. Which one? New York and a walk and a weekend package. Window store displays displays and newspaper advertising were linked together by an interrupting idea. The notably successful campaign was prepared for the Continental Tobacco Company Inc. by the Federal Advertising Agency. Blur blur blur. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good read. What does it say? It says, Dear Sonny, I'm so happy to be able to gift this to you and Carrie. Good luck, Lisa. Lisa! And then this is her, right? Yes. She's the hunt for yeah, vintage. Yeah, this so, is her. Yeah. Now, is she on YouTube? She's not on YouTube. Is she I don't is think she... so, but I'm going to get all the information and plug yeah. it in on yeah. the video for you to see and in the description. So please check out the description. Yes. This is an awesome hat. I'm going to rock this hat. That I like this amazing. style. This is that burlap, right? It, it's that looks well, like burlap. It looks like it's burlap, like a, yeah. but it's, I like this. This is heat pressed. Yeah. That's nice. I like this style. And I like how she made the hat look like it was, um, you know, look, it's all tore up like it's yeah, distressed. been worn yeah. many times. Distressed. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I could teach you something. Not a lot, but something. Once in a blue moon. All okay. Right. You're, no, I'm kidding. Blue moon like beers? Blue moon. I saw you standing alone. I don't know any other. <gasps> Without a dream. Oh. What? I'm, I'm going to bet that one's for Carrie. But is it or is it for Sunny? The paper doll? <laughs> I have a feeling it's don't not judge, for you. Don't judge me. Well, you, I don't think you're into paper dolls. You don't. Uh, are you? But maybe I'm you? into dolls. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I've shopped with you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I look for them. I don't know anything. But this oh is gosh. the first I'm hearing about a paper doll. Let's get to this. And listen to me. I watched your video. Which one? The last Just one. Just one? Well, 
The jewelry one? I just want, yeah, the one. I was watching that because I wanted to see what you were doing. Uh-huh. And you missed up. We're going to have to chat about perfume bottles, young man. Okay. I missed. We're going to have a chat because And that, you that's why missed. I'm open to learning doll. Oh, Sonny, the two of them that you went by, but it was, uh -oh. I was in the expensive booth. They were the um, the mid-century Hollywood Regency beautiful <gasps> babies. You pass them by. And then you pass another one with the, the atomizer. You passed up a few. That sounds like it hurts. It did hurt. It did hurt. That's an atomizer. It sounds like a it. medical utensil the <laughs> that replaces stuff. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are a silly goose. Oh, another note. Here is some ephemera for you and Carrie. Okay, so okay. we'll go through this. And okay. I'm going to let you have So what notes. is ephemera for people who don't know? Ephemera is paper goods. Okay. But it's not only paper goods. It's disposable items. So it could be something. The thing about it is age and the factor that it's something that you would never save in a million years. Something that normally goes to the trash. Old newspapers, old magazines. But like you're gonna, we'll, we're gonna take a look in here. Yeah, and we're gonna see look what at what Lisa, it is. Um, gave us. Yes. But I mean, there's a few other things like just any, you know, something older, disposable. You wouldn't hang on to because it's not always gonna be. Paper. Sounds like you're talking about me, but speaking for my wife. Would nickels disposable? <laughs> get rid of something you don't use. No, stop. <laughs> I don't want to know about that. We're gonna leave that alone right there, sir. But this is gorgeous. Look at this the box on here. Amazing. Let me go, let me go this way. Yeah, come this way. Look at this. Light. This is darling, for real. Yep. Mean Liebling. That's German, obviously. Wow. Six hand this painted is nice. outfits. Look at this box. Six black and white outfits. You don't see boxes. I don't see boxes like this anywhere anymore. And this one is a little newer, actually. 1983. So. so it's a retro. They did a lot of retro in the 80s of paper dolls. Mm -hmm. A lot. Like, I have books of them. But if it's 80s, then it's vintage. It is vintage, but yeah. it's not as vintage as the original so they, paper okay, doll would you. have been. Yeah. So, it's retro vintage. Have you come across any yourself? Not, not this one in particular, but other paper dolls, yes. Mm -hmm. I have some, of course. So, if y'all collect these who are watching, and you want to send me photos of what you got, please email me. I'd love to see what you have. This is her story. I love wow, that. Oh, this is nice. Like almost like a yeah. scroll. Yeah. Just like a long print. Yeah, it's a nice paper. It's kind of unique to see the paper fitting format rather yes. than just the regular printing paper, you know? Yeah. Little blocks. Yeah, there's a little bit of cotton in here. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was like a full mm -hmm. sheet. 1983. Yes, it's marked on there. Wow. And look at, oh, isn't that interesting? They made her jointed. Huh. huh. Very interesting. And huh. there's little holes for the tabs. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to move her to the side. Let's, let's dress her so she's like a Yeah, it's like a dress-up paper doll. Yeah. I didn't get it at first. Now I do. Really? Yeah, I didn't get you it. You didn't understand? I oh. thought it was just like a print. No, it's like... And you just play with the so print. So back in the day, when I was a young lass in the, you know, some time ago, <laughs> you used to get books. <laughs> <You're so funny. laughs> you used to get like just little like coloring books, but yeah. it was, they would, there would be a, like on the cardboard on the back was the doll and you would cut the doll out and then you'd go inside and they were either like um, perforated outfits or oh. you would uh, cut them out with scissors, paper dolls. And then this is what you would do. And they would have little stands like this and you'd play with your paper dolls. I loved I, me being a guy. Was there anything for guys? Like this paper dolls, yeah, like, like things ninja, that were guys. Like, you know when they, you know what they did in the eighties was Ninja Turtles, paper Ninja Turtles, yeah. and maybe GI Joes, That's but not too much just, because yeah. dudes really didn't care about dressing up there. They wanted to, it was more like bang that. things around. Yeah. So I would say probably color forms were more for like oh, they would wow, do. That had fit on that. Yeah, you see what you did? I was like, yeah. oh, she tore it. No, that is, yeah. Wow. I'm so excited you've never seen anything no, like this. You no, didn't know. No. So um and again in the description it said there's some black and white outfits. So mm -hmm. these were you could color that in. Wow. But see how you have to cut it out? Yeah. And this one is partially these cut. These are out. kind of things I'm like, I would print this out and remake them. These are pretty. Nice coloring too. Right. It's like watercolor printed out. Wow. Mm-hmm. 
This is cool. There's quite a you, bit. There was no wow, little, quite a bit of them. There were no little girls in your family, like little cousins or anything. Yeah, Girl we're all little. Cousins. We're all short. <laughs> Guys too. What I'm saying is, back in the day when you were little, like not paper. I mean, they had Barbies, but I. Yeah. yeah. It other was than kind that, of a, no. I think it was a little bit more like in the uh, 60s, 70s range, probably. Is my... To be honest, I think maybe, now that you're asking me back in the day, I think more because this, we were low class, like poor. I'm thinking maybe middle That's class enough. That's had paper dolls, though. Right. But it wasn't this big. Mm. So they would come. We also the didn't have stores of... with things like this. Oh, like a coloring book. Did yeah. you have coloring books? No. Really? Where I'm from, they didn't have stores like that. It was like gas stores, gas stations, oh. restaurants. It wasn't really like retail stores. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna Other than like an Ace Hardware yeah. before they closed, like I think maybe a decade and a half ago. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. All right. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to show you a regular paper doll one day because our family didn't have a lot of money either, but we mm -hmm. lived in the suburbs right outside a big city. So we had Kmart mm -hmm. and a bunch of stores you never heard of because they're from back east that are now closed. Mm -hmm. And you got paper dolls instead of Barbies. Barbies were like five dollars. Paper dolls were sixty nine cents. Yeah. So that was More our affordable. cheap. That's version. cool. I like that. Yeah. History. Okay. So do you want me to? I was just taking the items out of the box to give us more room. Okay. And then we can let's do that. Um, open the items and get this giant box out of here. Giant boxes out of here. Get out of here, buddy. Okay, you go. All right, let's open this one. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Please handle with care. Glass, That's thank you. Lisa, I'm gonna keep telling you thank you throughout this video. Mm -hmm. Lisa, those paper dolls alone, smooch your face. Oh, look at these figurines right here. Are these, oh, oh are these football players? Okay. Oh, oh. I don't know what they are, but salt and pepper, salt and pepper shakers. What is that? These are cool. Their they faces like, are detailed. You know what? These are like little, um, so made in Japan. These are like little, um, Indian from India type mm. because of the little turbans and things. Yeah. So I'm going to say that's sort of what these guys are. That's amazing. Wow. Amazing. I think, wow. Salt and That's awesome. It's uh pretty unique how much people actually collect salt and pepper shakers. I just read a comment earlier today of um a viewer sharing their sister who collect things like salt and pepper shakers and have hundreds amongst other things. Yeah. I've had, I haven't been doing too good selling them though unfortunately, but I don't really have the most oh, of This is pretty. Once was wine, now fill pepper. Once was wine, now fill salt. So they're they're saying these were little wine jugs. Mm. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's Carnival beautiful. glass. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. This is pretty. Now, is this for an egg or a candle holder? Oh, my gosh. Isn't it so funny that you just said that? I'm going to say... Why is it funny? Because I was thinking in my head, is this an egg cup? Or oh. <laughs> <laughs> a candle... I, but look inside. This okay. is actually like pointed up. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not completely 100% sure, but it looks looks like an egg cup, doesn't it? Is it too yeah. deep though? I think it's too deep. I don't know, but it's pretty though. I could always get an egg out of the, and you know what? The reason I don't think it is, let me show you why. Look right here. The bowl or? What was it that I just saw? Nope, I'm blind. Never mind. I thought there was like a little hole over here for it to shine through. Oh, There's let me that. see something. There is an S on the bottom. Oh. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, look at you. Did you get oh yeah Hawaii? no i got this from uh, a viewer too liz <gasps> liz liz i love she ended it. up making this for me and i've been i've been rocking it especially in hawaii when i went because it matches yeah it does matches me that's beautiful this is beautiful too you know what else is beautiful what you oh you get out of here you knew that was coming <laughs> oh little miniatures i love little miniatures little baskets mm -hmm. go west german 
Are they oh. gobbles? Does it say gobble? Gob? Gobble? Gobble. Gooby? Gobble. Yeah, they're gobble. Gobble. Oh, gobble. I didn't see the mm -hmm. L. What are... They're just miniatures? Yeah. I like... That's that interesting. Another one. Oh, this is... This is fun. Two... That's a stocking stuffer. Little ceramics. Little candle. It looks like a little... Oh, it's same, the same face name. on it. Does it have a face on the... No, it's on the candle? Dripping. These are really neat. I wonder if this is part of like... Oh. Like a Christmas display or something. Wow, well, all from the same maker too. Yeah. That's cool. That's really nice. And you know West Germany, that makes it how old? I'm an artist. I was not getting this. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty. The wall came down in what the the eighties. I have a piece of the wall somewhere. So when you see something West German, it's going to be older than that oh. because now it's only Germany. It's not East and West. So that's just oh. another thing to date things. Okay. Oh no, we did it break or is that the way it is? <gasps> this one broke. Oh no. no. Oh, but you no. could see why, like, they're delicate even if you pack them up well. Look at the lady's face broke. She's not too happy. But it could what? be glued. Then the gentleman's like, ay, ay, ay. I don't have <laughs> I don't have medical insurance for that one. She's lost her head. What does it say on her tongue? Literally, tongue? she's lost her head. Uh, you and your once, you and your once more for old time's sake. I don't think he really liked what you're saying there, so off with her head. <laughs> oh, who is this from? Is it just Japan? Jesso? What? Esco? Anesco? Okay. Anesco? Is it Anesco? Let's see. I'll help you. Oh. Anesco. Mm -hmm. And made in Japan. And there's Dustin. What's the dust? Dutton? Oh, that's unfortunate that one broke. Yeah. Alright, I'll tell you something right now. I do not like slugs. But for some reason, <laughs> I could deal with snails. What's up, y'all? What is it? What's up, Dunn? Chilling. Chilling. Chilling like a room. These are cool, nice details. Yeah, I know. So it's made in Mexico. All right. Is there very solid resin? Yeah. Yeah. No. Ceramic. I so. This guy, I, he's heavy. Yeah, he is. My little baby oh, Jesus. Goodness, yeah, him. but look at this face right here. <laughs> that looks like that's that from is the fun. 60s or 70s. Yeah, right? that is fun. Look at that. That might just be my thumbnail right there. Let me hold that for a second. Yeah. But you got to make that same face standing next to him. Nope. Yeah. Just need you in there. No. Oh, you. <laughs> Old Spiegelman. Oh, I like little miniature plates. Wow. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen them like this. I haven't seen them like where you could actually fill them. Yeah. Those are probably yeah, salt I'll keep, I'll keep them together. Those are salt uh, Nor Noritake. They're either salt cellars or butter pack plates. You think so? I do. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't even know why I questioned you. They're doing now. Uh, I'm just going to tell you. I sold some salt cellars last week. Look at this. What is it? Is Ooh, it, is it it's oh. an owl? Oh, it's... Let's see. Oh, no, this one broke too. Um, the foot. Feet are really sensitive on items. This broke too, unfortunately. Yeah? Oh no. One of them, one of them broke. Ouchie. Oh. He chipped on the side. Yeah, We're this. gonna just leave this alone. But it's you okay, I'm gonna glue this and keep this. You can still get four out of there. Let me see. Unfortunately, it broke. Oh. Okay. What is that it again. made out of? Clay? What is this? What is. Pottery? What are the names of these that I keep on forgetting? There's a name for these. The chusas? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Mexican of folklore? Yeah. There's something. And I'm trying to think what it is and I can't think of the name. And somebody's Barn gonna owls? Say it. Is it an owl? Like No, no. Something it's, else? It's this type of pottery. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. 
there's a name to it. Oh, these are fun Is as it well. A motorcycle dude on the end. It's a little Jeffrey Parker dude on the end. Oh, look boy. at these. These are fun. You like the little guys? Oh, another uh, same model of the are they goals? maker. Yep. Let's be careful with those. Yeah, yeah. If you want to throw that in here. Cool. Yeah. Oh, these are pretty. I wonder if the lids. I could see. I, I see why people collect salt and pepper shakers. They just have that fun. Well, especially when. Don't take up a lot of space. No, they don't. Those with different themes. Because there's some I come across and I'm like, oh, I want that for like my barbecues. Yes. But only for barbecues, you know? Yeah. I get it. Oh, we should put that back in there. I like the color on these. Is it green or blue? That's blue. That is like a, not quite cobalt, but a blue, dark blue. Let's put that back there. Okay, so more of the baggies. We put that all back in here once yeah, it's finished. Yeah. Okay, you get that one. Shoot. Oh, more little. Decorated floor art. Huh. And it's crackled. Nice and crackly crackled. Crazy? Crazy. This is cool. I to me, this is more like a guy shoe, but. It looks like a little, yeah. That's cool. Look at the rubber Flora? sole. Yeah. Yeah, the rubber sole is pretty cool. You don't see that. No. That's cute. Too often. I mean, it's you like see a it now. Mini planter. That's what I would say that is. Look at these little salt and pepper shakers. I got some I need to look for that are silver. Got like six of them. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Ooh. They're small, like tiny ones. Tiny like, ones. I like the tiny ones. It's almost like a. I wonder if it's just a place to buy salt Another snail. <laughs> Hawaii, aloha. Oh boy. Oh, he got the name on there. Shu? JP Shu? Oh. Jeffrey Parker Shu? <laughs> look at this guy's little face. Yeah, it does look like that. Oh, there's a lot in this one. Is it another snail? It is. Oh, it matches this guy, right? Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. Your friends. <laughs> <gasps> oh, uh -oh. that doesn't look good. Uh -oh. oh, they. Oh, it also head. lost its head. <laughs> How does this one go? But oh, that one could be glued. I'll hold on to this one. Yeah. It's almost like a camel head, though. It does look like a camel head. It's a camel head snail. <laughs> <laughs> that hair part, though. Like. I know. You see that? Yeah, I know, I like that. <laughs> or is it like a huge unibrow? <gasps> that one could be glued. It almost feels like stone, though. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's a pottery of some sort. Stoneware? So sad right? to some of these broke, but... Mm -hmm. oh, that's the matching. Yeah, that's the matching. Yeah. Oh. A lot of snails. That one's kind of like the other one, the face. Is it the happy design? Face? Oh, what is this one? I don't know. Oh, is this missing a head? Is it or just, is it this way? What is? I don't. <laughs> so much questions. Oh, you know what I was thinking of with this? Talavera. Talavera. Oh. Now I got it. Gotcha. I've heard about it before. Yeah. Oh, what'd you do? <gasps> oh, here it is. See. This one. Mexico. That was pretty. Mm -hmm. The colors on here, I don't know. They're not yeah. warm colors, but they are nice, easy on the eyes colors. Makes you yeah. want to keep staring at it. What can you see about what, what colors do you see in this one? They look like gray and brown to me. They are gray and brown. Nice. So good. Nice. I wasn't sure where your where your um, color issues. The are. other one. Blues and greens get you? Depends on what shades they're next to each other. Okay. Ooh, large trinket here. Yeah. Ooh. Is it 
it's who is it colored on the inside that's pretty stefan decatur Burning of the Philadelphia. Ooh. Ooh. Decatur House. This is probably, and this is numbered as well. Porcelain de Paris. De Paris. That's some really unique stuff here. Yeah, she did a good job. Yeah, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, let's, let's, okay. Let's open so. up one on your end. Hold on. Give okay. me a second. Let's put this up first. Okay. Ready. Ooh. Those coasters? Yeah. Coasters. Vintage buttons. Coasters. Oh, I see. Oh, I like the weight on these. Cork. Oh, I like this. Mackenzie Childs. Mackenzie Childs. Mackenzie is good. That's isn't she the one that does all the black and white stuff, right? I don't know. Yeah, she. Does. I mean, that would be cool since these are colorful. Yeah, yeah. People change. Ephemera. Ephemera. Somebody's dad, brother, cousin, whatever he is, that's him. In the, and that's a vintage frame. Yeah, I so okay. So I have some ephemera that I got from Chris. I met him through TikTok. Yeah. I've had him on my YouTube live, and he sent me a large box of ephemera. Did box he? of ephemera. So I need to figure out where's the best place to sell it. I would be happy to go through it with you. Oh, or show you okay. We're going to. All right. If people want to see us do this again with something else, uh, yeah. recommend in a comment saying, yes, show me your ephemera. That sounds funny. Show me yeah. your ephemera. Oh, that is. Right? Wow. That's a beauty. Wow. No no offense to you, sir. You are very charming and handsome. <laughs> you look like you had a high credit score. And maybe two degrees, not three like carry American arbitrage. But this right here? Wow. This wow, pretty. this is epic. That's beautiful. Just to even paint something that small. There is a little scratch right there, but that's all right. And look at the back, the frame. Wow. A little bit older there. Yeah. Wow, that is... <gasps> <laughs> it's beautiful. That's okay, how the, the it clip back on, yeah. Yeah, that's how it the frame right back you in. didn't do any damage. So Ooh. don't worry. This is um exciting. This Ooh. is like some well to me, probably not to you, but it's a, a vintage or even antique um skin whitener bottle. Yeah. Is that what Michael Jackson used or I'm gonna bet not. Probably not. That was a big thing back in the day. Isn't that interesting? Lucille Young. There's a name on there. Yeah. Can't well, see Lucille it. Young. But that, that sticker yeah. is really good, though. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. And if that's the original bottle, that's very good. Apply with moist sponge. Pad dry with cloth. Chicago. Mm -hmm. Wow. Should it's, I tell? It's, it's probably like a, um, a very lovely old snake oil. You think so? Snake oil? Yeah, pretty much. Carlton Ware, Ware, made in New England, but registered in Australia. Yeah, that's cool. Did you open that what one? would this be used for? Snacks? It's a little trinket tray. That's what I would say, a trinket dish. There's opening on this. Man, how did she get this in here? That is tight. That's tight. Yeah, a lot of luck. Maybe this way. Throw it over. Ooh, these are, are these also coasters? Yeah. Look at that little Looks screw like that's it. in there. Where'd that screw come from? I don't know. I'll have to find out. I'll have them over here. These are some nice pieces. I wonder if that's like... What are they pictures of? It has like gold inlay almost, but it's like an Indian woman. All of them are the same? Yeah. Oh yeah, those are really fun. You think they're coasters or? Yeah, I kind of do. It's like mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to ruin, like scuff well, it. Well, this you is know? like plastic, uh -huh. and she's underneath. She's probably painted on the back. I like them. Yeah, very very lovely little goddesses. Maybe maybe she could be one of the goddesses. I don't really know. I feel like this is going to be a 
I know it could go on eBay, but I feel like what I seen from you yesterday and other things, mm -hmm. people would enjoy mm -hmm. a lot of this and whatnot. Mainly you. Gotta do, you got to do. Oh. <laughs> no, like I would love to. Yeah. I just I haven't brought anything lately to yeah. work on. This is a child's cup. For me, then. Definitely for me. Oh. That's nice for someone born in 1974 to have something That's from their birth year. Very nostalgic. Yeah. Original 1974 Child's Shinned Cup, portraying brothers. an authentic painting by Sister Berta Hummel. Huh. Huh, exactly. Schmidt Bros. Made in West Germany. So you know the thing about West Germany, right? Nice <laughs> <laughs> guy. I'll just go this You're way. You're such a wise guy. <laughs> Let me learn you something. Yeah. Let me learn you something. That is cool. Oh, that is even cool too. Yeah, it's a really nice box. And the box. And it has a description the box. on the back. I love when things so cool. description. Lisa, thank you so Lisa, much. Lisa, you, you do fun. the pleasure. Okay. Very fun items. Oh, I like that it comes with that. Oh, Ooh. what are you? Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Another like Indian piece. Yeah. What color? Is this red? Yeah, Copper? It's like a red orange. Let's oh, it's take a signed. Look. Certificate of uh, it's tit, Tito Tito. This is landscape Zen. No, this is we nice. hereby certify that this work is a professional creative product of the Tito Company. We make a sincere and meticulous effort to reveal the truth, goodness, and beauty of the glass so that every delicate, gleaming work will glow together with your joy and perspectives. Wow, I wonder if it actually glows. That would be interesting if it did. Mm. It's crystal. It's made from crystal. Here's the maintenance book. Look oh, wow. It. Yeah. It's maintenance got a little book? maintenance book right there. Wow. Oh, I love this. Here's a statement from the artist. Leave the wonder and delight of life in the glass. Follow the light shimmer through the glass to tell stories that people will enjoy and create a new dimension in which art, life, and taste come together. I saw it's beautiful. That. I love that. Sounds like nothing but good vibes. This is just the first part of this video. We still have a second one to come along. That's going to be coming up next very, very soon. There's not going to be very much of a gap from part one to part two. And then what it sounds like earlier in the video, the ephemera that I have, Carrie wants to see it. And why not have another show and tell video? This one is an unboxing. And the other one, I have no idea what I have because I haven't opened it yet. So we're going to go through that one too. So if you're interested in these items, I'm going to have my very own Whatnot sale coming up very, very soon. And if you haven't signed up for Whatnot and would like to purchase some of these items, then make sure to follow me there. Look in the description, not only for my information, but Carrie's, Lisa's, and other friends of other videos that I go along with that I also feature and share their information as well. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, I'm Sunny Las Vegas. I'm a full-time reseller. I've been doing the damn thing for nearly seven years almost, and I'm growing. I'm learning more than anything. I love what I do, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all for your support, your donations, your kind feedback. So even the negative feedback, I can learn from it because it teaches me, what are you trying to tell me? What can I learn from? So I'm not that kind of person to dive into negativity and let it drive me. I am driven off of positivity. And that is majority of you all. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe right under the video. Just hit subscribe. Doot, 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 doot and hit the thumbs up. Also, share your feedback down below. If you could help with some of the information of the items that we shared in the video, that'll help me a lot. Also, other people who are looking at the video, they can learn from your comments as well. Stay tuned for part two, because that's coming up very, very soon.